So this is my PowerBook G3, um, but I want to talk about this battery here. It's the uh, VRAM, uh, PRAM uh, battery, which um, normally it's wrapped up in plastic and it's got three wires sticking out of it. But I wound up building a new one because they're not available online. If you Google PowerBook G3 Lombard PRAM battery, there's a few places that have them, but they're all out of stock, right? So, anyway, here's my Lombard that I'm working on trying to restore. But I'm going to start by taking out the CD-ROM drive. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll show you why. So, this is where the PRAM battery goes. Um, but when you put the CD-ROM drive in, it like covers it up, so it's really hard to get to. So there you go. Now, what's in here is this like new battery pack that I built, and um, I had to cut away some of this plastic cut, uh, material here, which is holding it down. Because when I went to put heat shrink insulation on this thing, the stuff that I bought was way too thick compared to the stuff that was originally on this thing. So it took a lot of effort to smush it in here and then so I cut away quite a, quite a lot of the stuff on the front side. So normally this is really pushed down and um, oh boy my skin is dry. Um, so I just want to talk about you know because there is almost no information available online about these batteries I want to talk about what I did and um, hopefully other people will benefit from this. So when I took this out and took off the um, took off the outer shrink shrink wrap, I was presented with four of these batteries with three wires coming out, which you see down here. There's a red wire on top. There's a white wire coming from this middle area, and then there's a black wire. Um, um, welded to the bottom. So this is the original and the original uh, batteries had these kind of like welds on them and I guess this is some piece of very thin piece of aluminum or something some whatever it is conductive metal and the new ones I bought um, which you'll see a photo of have these like tags that are also kind of welded on but when I wanted to connect two of the batteries I, I wound up using the tags and soldering them together so I, I think I was able to solder them across well easily across the top but then on on the bottom there was a slightly different arrangement. I think I, I wound up needing to put a wire in there. <laughs> I already forgot what I did, but there, I have photos of them. And then for the... So, just very quickly to go over this for people who don't... In case you don't know. The, these two batteries are wired in parallel because it's positive to positive and negative to negative. So it's a 3 volt battery and it's still 3 volts when they're wired in parallel um, but they have more capacity. The same with these. Another 3 volts with a double capacity basically. And think of it as two batteries now. But now they're stacked positive to negative to positive to negative which makes it a series which also adds the voltages so you get a 6 volt battery and finally um, yeah you just want to make sure you wire the red and the white and then the black down here now now the the only thing I want to say as like sort of like a warning is I mean I'm just very careful about these things because I don't have that much experience with them but I did not want to do any soldering like I didn't want to take a soldering iron onto the battery 
Uh, I see other people doing them sometimes, but it maybe it depends on the battery or how quick you are with the iron. But I was really worried about um, an exploding battery situation. So that's why I ordered batteries that had tags on them so I could apply solder directly to the tags instead. It ended up it ends up taking more space and that's why I think I, I wound up in a situation where the battery was like sticking up but it worked in the end so I think for those of you out there that want to fix your Lombard and you you would like your um, PRAM settings to be saved uh, you could do what I did and take it apart and, and copy it. But I, I'll just tell you what it says on these batteries. It's a Panasonic um, VL2330. And um, I think they were $10 a piece, a little less. And um, you should be able to build your own battery. And hopefully you'll have less trouble cramming it back in here. Uh, that's it. That was a long-winded, uh, I think, um, description of what I did. But hopefully, hopefully, uh, someone like me who was frantically searching the internet will now find this information, since I'm trying to share as much as possible about my experience. And uh, that's it. Thanks, everybody.